Wait. This is not the real video. This is a test. Hey everybody, I'm Mika, but you can call me Mika Chan because we're friends now. You can tell from the username of the channel. Duh. So today we will be doing a DIY, but not a typical DIY like we normally do. We will be discussing all the things about a DIY. We will be talking about mugs and how to paint them. And I consider myself an expert when painting mugs because I have painted so many self-claimed experts. That's what the world needs, right? So let's get started. Number one, you need to clean the mug throughout the The mug or the plate, it doesn't matter, whatever that's made out of porcelain or clay or, you know, the typical mug you get from the dollar store. You gotta clean it. Uh, usually they come with a little sticker underneath, but uh, and if you have troubles getting removing all the glue, just use some rubbing alcohol. It will do wonders. Then, after it's all clean and dry, you need to prepare your working area. I mean, the table. You've got to have your paint, your brushes, your little container with water. So you won't be moving around just to get stuff in the middle of painting because the paints get dry easily and you don't want that. If you're not good with drawing or sketching, there are a few little tricks that you can do to fake your drawing skills. One is to lightly sketch on a piece of paper that you have against your computer skin. Computer screen, not skin. Where did that come from? Or you can create a very simple template with regular old duct tape. Just cut a little, um, cut the design, stick it on the mug, then paint it on top and then remove it. And then you have your little design, just like that. Maybe you need to clean around the edges, but basically that's it. Very easy. And there are many ways that you can paint the mug. There are different techniques. Just Google, uh, Google a few designs, see what you like. Uh, there are many lovely doodles. Easy to do, very easy. I mean, you can do splatters of paint. You can do dripping paint, whatever. And just do a little Google search on oh, Better Go on Pinterest because there are many lovely designs on Pinterest. Just make sure you don't get lost in there. <laughs> now, as far as paint brands go, I have used a couple in the past, but I have stuck with this one because it worked well and I'm happy with it, I'm satisfied. The main criteria when choosing paint is if it can stand the test of time. But maybe you may have to test a few brands before you stick to one that you like. Now, a thing you can do to make your paint last longer is to store it upside down. The paint itself will keep the air from going in the container, so it won't dry out from the inside. Um, now, as brushes go, you don't need many different sizes of brushes, just one simple little one will do. You may need to cover a larger area sometimes, but how much time will that take anyway, so... A small little brush will do. I mean, it does a job for me, so... Now let's talk baking. Many uh, brands of paint have little instructions at the back of the package, at least those that I have purchased, and usually they tell you that after it, after you're done with painting, you need to let it dry from 12 to 24 hours, and then you need to bake it at 150 Celsius. Now with baking, there is a little trick. Uh, do not preheat the oven, just put the mug inside and let it heat up with the oven. And then when it's done baking, don't take it out immediately, just let it cool with the oven again. They do this trick in bartending when you have a hot beverage to put inside glassware. Uh, we need to run the glass under warm water just for the glass to get warm up so it can take the hot beverage. You know? Have you heard it before? Well, it's a thing. Now, for glass, you need to use another paint. I use a different paint. You may find paint that is suitable for 
porcelain and glass. I use this brand and it's okay. Usually when working with a non with a paint that doesn't require baking, it's not toxic free. So you probably need to avoid the mouth area. Just keep that in mind. It's not a cute thing, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. So this is all I have found out when painting mugs and probably I have given many mugs and my friends don't need any more but hey it's a great gift to give you can give it to a teacher to a sister to a friend to your bae you can customize it for anyone and it always puts a little smile on the receiver's face when they see their name written on a mug i mean it's very personal and it shows that you put some thought into it so let me know in a comment down below if you like this type of video if you didn't just let me know in a comment down below so i'll know and i won't make more of those if you're new here and you just happen to click on this video and it wasn't your cup of tea but you still have someone in your life that you think they might find it interesting then you may want to consider sharing it with them and if you are the type of friend that please kind of be a friend too so until next time Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye!